Hello YouTube family and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Lauren McKinney and I love making videos about slow fashion, capsule wardrobing, and finding your personal style. In this week's video, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I'm sharing a what I wore in a week video. So I'll be documenting each day of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and sharing with you what I wore that day. Lately, I've been feeling really unmotivated to want to put together an outfit outfit every day, which is such a shame because going into my wardrobe and putting new outfit combinations together is a great way to be creative on a daily basis. So I took a note from Val, I believe she did a video like this over on her channel and wanted to try documenting the outfits that I was wearing every single day this week, share them with you in an effort to not only give you some outfit inspiration, especially if you work from home or aren't necessarily in a corporate space, but also to motivate me <laughs> to actually get dressed every single day. So I hope that you enjoy this slightly more lifestyle, slightly more vlog style video. Let me know down below in the comments if you like that kind of stuff and if you enjoy videos like this and would like to see more of them. So before we get into the five looks that I have to share with you today, I wanna to ask you to please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, give me a big thumbs up and comment down below, like I said, do you enjoy this kind of vlog style content and stuff Stuff that is slightly more casual or you do prefer a more formal kind of sit down talking head video with outfit inspiration sprinkled throughout. Let me know so that I can give you the kind of content that you enjoy. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the looks. Hello YouTube. It is a gloomy, gloomy Monday. It's gray and cold and I'm still in my house coat. And honestly, on a day like this, the last thing I wanna do is like put something cold on or something not cozy on. Um, and I would just like go for a pair of like matching sweats or something like that like a like a coordinating pair of sweats but i'm trying to get dressed every single day this week because lately i've been kind of feeling sorry the lighting is going to be so orange in here so orange so i'm going to try my best to pick a cozy outfit from my capsule okay so i ended up going with a collared shirt underneath and layering it with this necklace. And I know that a colored shirt like isn't the first thing a person would think about when they think about cozy, but this is a linen one. And so it's nice and soft on my skin and it feels like I can move around really comfortably. And it's a nice way to make me feel just slightly more professional because I have a lot of things on my to-do list today for work. And this will just give me the motivation to do them and externally express the professional mindset that I have for today. So here's a bit of a close-up. You can see Remy sleeping back there. And then that's his stuff over there, so ignore it. But you can see this is the um, look. So here's my Monica Vinader necklace. I added this because I wanted to soften things up a little bit. Linen um, button down and then my cashmere sweater and then my linen pants. I will style it for, I'll style it with shoes in a cutaway here, but most likely I will be wearing it with a cozy pair of socks. These are from Bombas. They are like a, an, a sustainable sock brand that has like a buy one. Um, and then they give away a sock and they're just like really cute patterns and stuff. So time to get my day started. So I know I don't do like a ton of home decor stuff in here because obviously this is a fashion and style and capsule wardrobing channel, but I really love um, decorating my home for the seasons using kind of what I already have. And I recently did some spring tweaking and decorating. So I'll just show you really quick what I did because I want to share it. So I styled these little floating shelves in my dining room for spring. 
I really wanted it to be like a tea time vibe. And so I have this cute little book that I thrifted called Tea with Friends and a little like tea strainer right next to it. And I feel like, you know, coffee is like cozy, warm, fall and winter, but tea time is like spring and summer and makes me, it reminds me of like Jane Austen and period dramas and stuff. So I wanted to do a little bit of a tea time. This is my wedding china, which is so beautiful. I'm always finding, ew, that, that's kind of dusty. Anyways, it's, I'm always trying to find ways to um, use it. And then this is an old book that I thrifted too. And then here are the floating shelves in the living room, which you probably see, you know, somewhat, there's the camera, hello, that you probably see um, sometimes while I'm filming. I wanted to add this blue here because again, I feel like it gives a nice springtime touch. And then something that I like to do that is inexpensive and doesn't feel very wasteful is just change out my candles. Um, so like I had dark green there and orange for the winter time and the fall time. And then I switched it to this pretty like kind of light sagey green with this blue that goes with the china. And it just, I don't know, adds something kind of quirky and fun. And then these are pieces that just kind of stay here, um, kind of stay here full time. But yeah, I love a good pothos plant because they are so easy to not kill. <laughs> So it's time to take Remy out on a walk. And of course it's California in the springtime. So that means that it's, it was like 50 degrees in the morning and now it's like 80 degrees. So um, what I've done is I've just taken the sweater off, which, you know, works and you can drape it over your shoulders or you can just get rid of it completely. Uh, I will probably keep it draped over my shoulders once I'm in the house, but for the walk, I'll probably just take it off. Um, but yeah, I just keep the linen shirt tucked in and I just put my Birkenstocks on because we're just going on a quick little jaunt around the neighborhood. But it's nice to have outfit that is like versatile and that you can remove layers throughout the day when it does get warmer, especially for the spring season. <laughs> Happy Tuesday, YouTube. So for today's outfit, I've gone super comfy and flowy. It's a much warmer day today than it was yesterday, so I really had a chance to dig into my spring capsule a little bit more, but let me flip the camera around and show you what it looks like. So here is today's look. I have my green wide leg crops on. I'm just wearing my Birkenstocks. My old ones is like house shoes. So that's what I have on right now. But I'll show you in the cutaway what shoes I would wear um, if I were styling this to like leave the house or something. I would probably pair it with my Western boots from Everlane because I like the kind of height that it gives to the outfit. And then I'm wearing my Doan Jane blouse, which is this beautiful little, Sorry, okay, there. <laughs> Beautiful little floral print. And for jewelry and accessories, I have just this sapphire choker, my everyday rings, this ring from uh, Monica Vinader. And then for earrings, I have these little bee earrings, which I think add a nice touch of whimsy. I will like get those closer up. But yeah, that's the full look. And I know that like I have, you know, flowy on the top and flowy on the top and flowy on the bottom, but I just figured it was a really comfortable spring look and I'm not too bothered by it. I could tuck the shirt all the way around, but I decided that I would just go for that flowy kind of vibe and it's super comfortable and it's great for the beginning of the week. outfit number two of Tuesday, haha, <laughs> two for Tuesday, is this outfit right here, not very stylish. You can see my socks right here because I'm going roller skating. This is my little roller skating fit band tee, my husband's athletic socks that I regularly steal from him, and then 
this stretchy pair of denim shorts. Safety first. <laughs> my je t'aime graphic tee with my um slacks this is a really comfortable look and i have a lot to get done today so i wanted to feel a little bit more put together but have still some flair of personal style which is why i've added the bandana i love the way the red and the bandana kind of coordinates with the red in the shirt so this is my full look and then I'm, you know, around the house, I'll be barefoot, but like I put on these Allbirds sneakers for this outfit. This is the shoe. These are the shoes I would wear if I were going to go, go out. But yeah, really comfy and put together look. The slacks make it feel, you know, kind of professional, but the shirt still keeps it casual. And then I'm wearing for jewelry. I'm wearing my necklace from Still Nest. And then this is a Monica Vinader necklace. So, thanks. Okay, so here is Thursday's outfit. I decided to wear my floral midi skirt and my linen shirt, and then just accessorize with some gold jewelry. Of course, these are not the shoes I'm wearing around the house, but they do look really cute with the outfit. And this is really great because I spent a lot of today kind of going in between, sitting down and standing up, and so the movement that the skirt offered me was really nice, and yeah, it's just cute little kind of classic outfit for my Thursday. Hello, happy Friday. Today is the last day of this what I wore in a week. So today I decided to go for something kind of monochrome, um, kind of basic and classic and just easy to finish off the week. So I started with my colorful standard um, oversized tee and I rolled up the sleeves and I paired that with my Heshi Pearl um, necklace and pendant from Monica Vinader and then just like my gold hoops from Majuri. These are the Levi's rib cage. They are like pretty stretchy, but I am actually standing for the majority of the day. I have a lot of just like administrative stuff and some meetings um, that I can just do like at my standing desk. So I'll be doing that. And then for shoes, I have, oh, there's Romy's dog toy. That's cute. I just decided to wear my slingbacks again because I felt like they really complemented the look and you'll be able to see a better view of the full outfit in the cutaway. One thing that I do want to say about today's look is that because it's pretty basic, one of my favorite things to do, especially when I'm working from home because it's always comfortable, is to do my makeup and add something a little bit kind of special to my look that I feel elevates the whole outfit. So today I'm happy to share that Merit sent me some beautiful shades of lipstick and I want to share with you my favorite shade which is this one in Tiger. I've been like trying to wear lipstick more often because it's just like I said a really easy way to elevate your look. So if that's something you're interested in I would definitely check out Merit's new beautiful lip collection. It, they're all super buildable, really soft. It feels like like I'm putting chapstick on like it really is so great and this is what it looks like 
It's this really pretty kind of brick red. Definitely check this out. The link is in my bio below. I do have an affiliate link, so any purchases made below through that link will result in a small commission for me, so that would be great if you would like to support my channel. All right, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed seeing just kind of like what I wear on a daily basis, and I really found that it was super helpful for me to document my outfits every day because it really did force me to get dressed. There were a couple of days where I really just wanted to like stay in my sweats, but I got dressed. And you know what? It really does contribute to productivity, feeling good about yourself, and just feeling all around put together. And I really enjoyed that. Again, thanks so much for watching, and thank you so much to Merit for sending me some beautiful shades of lipstick to share with you all in this video. As always, it's such a pleasure to spend this time with you, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>